Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again for this Super Mario Odyssey World Peace Open 2021 here on the Global Speedrun Association Twitch channel. My name is Thero. Scotch and Ty Guy literally in the booth next to me today. How you doing, Scotch? I'm doing good. How you doing, bud? I can't complain. Uh, if you don't know who we are, we are Thero and Scotch and Ty Guy from the Gaming Dads Podcast. Uh, you know, washed up speedrunners. But we do our best, right? Uh, washed up speedrunners, dads, uh, general degenerates, that sort of thing. Excited, though, for some world peace action. we got King Carmen and StarCast going at it. Uh for some good, good running today. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a, a pretty decent matchup. I, I did see Chet kind of speaking about um, how the brackets work. Um, we do see a large difference in the PBs. Now, a lot of times for these uh, elimination tournaments, you're going to see the top player go up against uh, the bottom player. That's just kind of how the brackets end up working out. Um, but how it works, I think someone pointed out in chat, if the top player does their best and the worst player does their best, they're still going to meet up in the end uh, to uh, for that final matchup. But yeah, we see King Carmen fifth place on the leaderboard. Um, now, World Peace, World Peace is actually a category that I started out with Super Mario Odyssey. I enjoy it, right? Um, I, I know you haven't seen World Peace as much as I have, um, but you see more of the game than any percent. Well, it's it's a nice little middle ground. It's kind of like uh, 70 Star in Super Mario 64, right? So you've got 120, which is that longer category. Um, you know, look at that. Getting close to two hours long. Or if it's me. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got 16 Star, which is that shorter category. You know, it's, you're talking about maybe 15 minutes, right? right. Uh, 20 minutes, you know, if you're slower like me. But... Um, you know, 70 stars that nice little middle ground. You're not having to sit around for two hours, but you're not, you know, waiting, hitting the reset button constantly. And you get to see a little bit more of Super Odyssey in its entirety. A, little, a lot more mechanics, a lot more background settings, that sort of thing. So uh, it's definitely a fun a fun watch. I agree. And, and for me, it's more technical, you know. So, like, we see Team Carmen uh, working on the IP clip skip, um, which... When I ran World Peace, it didn't exist. So World Peace, originally you would do IP clip and go up to the top and all that good stuff. Um, and then Snow Clip as well. But you see King Carmen, it, it's very specific, right? It, it's, it's not an easy setup, even though King Carmen obviously makes it look really easy with this practice. So I think that we are going to see a slight route variation between the two runners. And, and that's just from the skill level, right? Um, so you really... You're going to see both sides of it. Um, I think StarCast, um, we're going to see that more traditional IP clip. Um, but going up against an absolute legend. And I see where it says uh, first seed should face the second seed. I mean, that's not typical for brackets. Normally it's first and 16, second and 15, um, all the way down to where you get to the middle. Um, it's typically how those brackets work. Um, But yeah, it looks like we're getting the runners ready right now. Now, while we're getting the runners ready, uh, GSA has a new sponsor. All right, exclamation point, UAP, that's the Urban Arts Partnership. And what they do is, uh, you know, they provide scholarships uh, to individuals, and it's a really good cause. I, I, I think it's pretty awesome um, partnering with an organization like UAP. Yeah, definitely helping out those might need it a little bit more than others, you know. Getting into college, you need, need to get that degree. Right. Uh, they're there to assist with that. So we're really happy we we're working with them. It looks like we are all set up and we are ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of getting a degree, don't don't wait until you're 75 like I am. <laughs> uh, trying to, to go to work in school and commentate and everything. Check it out, exclamation point UAP. It looks like we're getting started here. You know... Uh, I really like SMO, right? And I, I ran it probably, I don't know, four or five months after it came out. started with any percent. I uh, really enjoyed Darker Side. But I like the fact that it's a newer game. So Super Mario 64, you know, they're fighting to try to save seconds. But here we go with Super Mario Odyssey, where it's a newer game. 
you know, things are found all the time. And I, I, I really like to see that dynamic change through the game. Heading into Cap Kingdom here. You know, it's just kind of a breeze through before we get the real party started. This is a pretty standard setup and start for the game. Oh. And a little bit of a bump there by StarCast to start. So King Carmen's got maybe maybe two or maybe five seconds ahead there. And, and that's the thing. Uh, if if I'm in StarCast shoes, um, you know, I, I know that I've got to make up time. And, and I, I've said it a million and a half times. Speedrunning is only like 10% running the game. And then 90% mental. So trying to figure out, and, and you know, with that mistake, how to not let it bother you. Team Carmen going up the left side. It's so satisfying watching Spin Town. I don't know, like, I know you didn't delve into SMO as much as I did, but I could just sit in sand and, and attempt to Spin Town over and over. Um, it's like a roll cancels. It's just that satisfying kind of fun fact thing. Uh, Saren, uh, who, who was restreaming and was commented earlier, pretty much organized everything, uh, came to me to learn things about Super Mario Odyssey. I didn't teach him anything easy. I was like, hey, we're going to learn spin cancels. Or, I'm sorry, roll cancels. Right off, the, right off the bat. So he likes to give me a lot of heck for that. <laughs> It's like a 219 for King Carmen. So about nine to ten seconds behind right now for Starcast. Uh, a little bit better for the Cat King different King Carmen. And just minor mistakes here and there. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, when I started running Odyssey, that was back when FNS still existed before 1.3 came out. But regardless, in World Peace, we'd always go and get this uh, Chain Chomp here to grab this first moon. Well, this was that big update back when Pace, what was it, Pace 2019? 2019. Yeah, I remember, I remember when that, that happened and just the whole SMO community was going nuts so because so much changed with that. You know, you had, initially you skipped this moon, but now you've gone back. I mean, we've been doing it for a couple of years now, obviously, but gone back to taking up that moon to start off to start it off and go through these cutscenes. And that's where, you know, when 1.3 came out, Starcast went really far left there. When 1.3 came out, nobody really expected it to come out. They, they thought that, hey, Odyssey's done updating with 1.2. Um, and then it was just kind of random that 1.3 popped out. I remember I was at Pace, um, you know, with Chaos Pringle and Dangers and uh, Mechabeat and all those guys. And uh, everybody just jumped on their switch to see if they could check out the load time. All right, going into Madam Brutal. I love this fight. It's so satisfying. King Carmen finishing up. Starcast got one more hit here. Starcast holding his own. Here in the beginning of this World Peace Open matchup. Now, here's the thing. So, if you're StarCast, how, how are you staying calm? How are you uh, knowing that you're going up against somebody who is maybe 10 minutes faster than yours? What is your mindset like? I mean, I'm not changing anything that I already do. You know, these guys play consistently enough to where they know what they're good at, and they know what they're inconsistent at. You know, you'll in runs, you know, on your own, you'll go for strats that are a little bit tougher that you're less consistent with. But in these race situations, especially when you're going against someone whose PB is 10 minutes better than yours, you know, I would just, I would stick to what I know, stick to what I'm consistent with, and just kind of, uh, I would make King Carmen make the mistakes. Right. Because no, no runner is safe from making really big mistakes. Um, I mean, we, we see it all the time, especially in SM64. Uh, so I, I just stick to your strats, stick to what you know, stay consistent, and just keep your... I would just keep your head down and go. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I mean, so far, StarCast is literally nipping at the heels of King Carmen right now, um, which 
I know chat kind of mentioned that I kind of expected to start to see a um, a larger gap here in the beginning, uh, but not bad at all. Starcast going to end up with a 546 uh, Cascade, which is really solid. Heading into sand. Now, this is where I, I'm not 100% sure we may see a slight variation in uh, the routes that are being taken. But it all depends. It all depends on what Starcast is comfortable with. And I think you're right. So, King Carmen is going to be going for these uh, harder strats. It's more risk, right? So, when you're learning a speed run, the goal is you want low risk, high reward. But when you start getting into being within five spots of the world record, you start hitting high risk, low reward, right? So um, we're seeing, or I think that we'll probably end up seeing that here. Alrighty, looks really solid. Starcast making it up there easily. The camera to me, you know, after playing SM64 for so many years, the camera to me is is so different because it pans. So you you have to use your bumper. So when you hit the bumper, it's gonna the camera's gonna change to whatever direction Mario's gonna be facing. Oh, it's a dram coming from King Karma here. Um, so you kind of have to use that to your advantage. You see that with King Karma as he's moving his camera around. Ooh, Starcast, not able to get that up there there for the Dram. So going to be taking a little bit of a climb here. They're trying to get up there, and that ice school having a little bit of trouble. Able to get that up there the second time, though. Oh! <laughs> that that could have been bad. Okay, got the up throw. Now, he's going to make it look easy. He made it look easy in practice. Oh, not quite. Not quite flipping in there. You have to be very specific where you're landing. Yeah, no problem for King Carmen. Gonna go right up. I see Harriet for the first time. Starcast going with that tried and true uh, IP clip. Yeah, again, you're staying consistent, using the easier strats. He's gonna take a little bit of a walk here, but. Better than trying over and over again at something and then just losing more time. And here's that difference that I was talking about earlier. The differences in the route um, as far as the level goes. Um, going through that pyramid takes some time. Right, so we see uh, this is where we're starting to widen that gap between King Carmen and Starcast now. Uh, Starcast is going to be going up top just as King Carmen is wrapping it up with Harriet. Which is... It, Seeing this older route, it, it brings back that nostalgia. I remember um, I, I used to race a lot. Um, that's kind of how I practiced, was racing in whatever game I was in. And uh, for those of you that know Philly, Philly had told me, hey, look, uh, I've never ran World Peace before. You've ran it like a couple of times. Let's race it. And he destroyed me. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed me. All righty. Starcast going through knocking out Harriet. So one of the big things that we see as a difference between any percent and world peace is we're looking for that world peace achievement. Um, any percent, we really don't care. We're just trying to get them as fast as we can. But going for that world peace achievement that Toadhead gives you, you have to defeat these bosses. King Carmen now in Night Sand. This is Starcast finishing up the area now. I love watching, you know, higher level players with this bullet build. You know, some of them can get it going so fast that it it almost goes off the screen because the camera can't keep up. Mm -hmm. And it's very specific. Um, uh, the inputs and, and making sure you shake at the right time. King Carmen going into the hole. Starcast going to go ahead and start off with this time here in nighttime sand kingdom. 
Yeah, you're starting to see that big difference there now between those two routes. Considering, you know, Starcast is just starting off in this night area, whereas King Carmen is well inside of it now, heading towards this next boss fight. I see it. But IP clip skip is so difficult. Like, you know, just... And I'm sure that King Carmen just sits there and just does it over and over and over. All right, concerned about the length of that bullet bill. Going ahead and grabbing the next one. It's a long distance. Like, it's a lot further than what you think. So not quite making the distance there. But StarCast, I mean... You know, able to buffer, buffer those spin pounds just fine. Um, I, I think the, the biggest difference is, uh, like you were saying, just the routing. And someone in chat saying, you know, that this, this race is already over. Far from it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there's plenty, there's plenty of time for King Carmen to make mistakes and for StarCast, again, to stay consistent, you know, to stay you know, keep those consistent strats, and you know, while it might take longer in the short term, in the long term, staying consistent is what you want to do. Agree. Uh, so, I mean, and we've seen it plenty of times before, where you know, the better player takes a big lead and then comes back. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely happens, especially, you know, I, I'll tell you, I, I've been in those shoes where you go up against. You know, an absolute beast of a player, and, and the nerves are kicking. Um, you know, the fact that Starcast um, has kept up consistently, especially like if if you've never been in like a tournament situation like this, um, it's huge. It's as uh, it was just said just a second ago. It's incredibly powerful. Hold them well into the fight now. This fight, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm shocked that they, they haven't, like, come up with a way to make it faster. It reminds me so much of IROC and Super Mario 64. But, you know, here, having to beat these, this is why, you know, these fights aren't done in uh, any percent. It's because they, they're so much longer, and, and you have to... Be as efficient as possible. Starcast taking a little damage, wasn't able to get out of the way in time. But just manipulating those hands. You know, and this is where we see a lot of um, all moons runners. Uh, they'll go and start cat farming, and, you know, so they try to do other things. But in World Peace, I mean, you don't really need that. Your goal is world peace. So King Carmen finished up, waited for that long cutscene. And, that, and that's the thing, too, with these boss fights. The cutscenes feel like forever, but it's a nice break for the runner. Um, we see games like uh, Super Mario 64, where it's just, if you do a 120, it's nonstop. There's no break. Um, that's why I, I do like games like SMO or like Celeste, where you can take a breather, kind of regroup your thoughts, uh, and move on. Now, if if I'm StarCast, I'm not even watching the stream right now. Right? I, I don't even care. Oh, yeah, no. Um, well, that's what I mean by keeping your head down and not, like, looking at or paying attention to what's going on and just focusing on what you can do in the moment. Because... If you if you start looking at where the other person's at and what they're doing, you're going to get in your own head, and there's no point in doing that. Considering you know that, that there is there is that um, that experience difference that you right. know, that sort of thing. And you know, surprisingly, so uh, <clears throat> we're going into Lake Kingdom here. The camera trips me out every single time. You know, and it was funny when I first started running Super Mario Odyssey after coming from Super Mario 64. You know how in Super Mario 64 you're, you kind of line up your triple? You know what I'm saying? Like you get that angle, then you line up your triple to do a mm -hmm. wall kick. I was doing that in Odyssey, like it mattered. Right. Um, 
the movement, even though they're both Mario games, the movement is very different. Um, Starcast taking a, an extra little wall kick there to make sure gets all the way up here. And Lake Kingdom is so fast. Honestly, it's... Oh, okay. Chief Chief kind of getting away from Cappy there. King Carmen headed up. Little Rango fight. This fight, to me, is so much fun, but it's... It's something that... It's like my brain stops working as soon as I get back up. You know, you know the movies. Backflip. Ground pound. Throw the cat. But it's like my brain stops working after a while. Starcast trying to catch up here. Gonna grab one more move for going up top. Speaking to Rango. Take his hat off. As Queen Carmen's wrapping it up. These cutscenes are so long, though. Right. Like, that's... That's what gets me, so I, I think that I'm ahead. Like, oh, man, that was a great lake. And then I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. I'm, I'm really not. I'd really like for for game developers to kind of yeah. develop their games in such a way where you can play it as a speed run or as, you know, the story mode. Yeah, that's fair. So, like, for instance, in this situation, just get rid of those cutscenes. That's yeah. the thing. That way you're just playing the game. Or allows you to, to skip those cutscenes. Yeah. Those. Like... I mean, if you have the option to be able to skip cutscenes, that and you can in some of them, but like these um, these multi moon cutscenes are just ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculously long. That'd be interesting to ask actual runners about because you know they may they might like the break. Yeah. Put your hand down, stretch it out for a little bit. But I also think too that, that speedrunners are also because it's it's like a drug, right? If I can get those 10 seconds. Right, right, right. <laughs> Like, oh my god, if I, if I could just save this little bit of time, you know, so... I, I think it was Saren, actually, uh, was talking about doing a speed run of Super Mario Odyssey, but with all of the... Um, all the cutscenes in it. Yeah. Like, you just leave them, just let them run. Oh, okay. Man, that any percent would be like two and a half hours. Cutscene percent? Here. Watch all the cutscenes? Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, I, I don't know. I kind of... I go back and forth because, like, in Celeste, Celeste destroys my hands. Right. So I love the fact that when you're in the menu, the timer just stops. Mm -hmm. Really nice movement by King Carmen there in the in that clip. Just really well done. He's being really precise here. Sarah be popping in. Starcast, Starcast, he's our man. If he can't do it, Carmen can. <laughs> Poetic. Oh, we're now fully oh. into wooded. A couple of hiccups there by Starcast, just bumping. Yeah, it looked like he just didn't get that. Roll cancel off in time. I'm gonna go for nut flip here. And doesn't get it. That's a tough one. That is. I mean, you know, especially when you know that you have to make up time. Absolutely, Captain Rex Buckingham. Hopefully you're doing well today. And Carmen's gonna do this flower roast gift and that was one of the, the strats that I was, like, over-worried about. Like, was like, it's oh my pretty God. straightforward and simple. It is, but I was like, man, if I fail, this is just going to suck. <laughs> Starcast struggling with the climb here. Cappy just not going where he wants him to go. King Carmen headed up to Spewart. But this is where, you know, like I was talking about earlier, just the progression of the game and the things that... Uh, have come out over the past year, year and a half, like Spirit List and, and other things, can any percent. Um, with World Peace, you, you don't really have that. Ooh, Starcast! Ooh, Ooh! What a save! Very nice. He, I don't even really understand what happened to there. He was just, like, super short. Uh, but then delayed that dive just enough to hit the edge. That was nice. All right, Starcast most likely going for Flower Root Skip here as well. Oh. 
Okay. Not electing to go for the uh, the spin pound there. But making sure he had enough speed to get up top. King Carmen wrapped up with Spewer. I love this kingdom. This is probably my favorite kingdom. Really? It's just it's just pretty. It's just nice. The music's great. You got that di the diversity um, in the area. You got that lower area as well as this upper area. But see, people get upset about the music. Did you know that? Uh, they're they're crazy. like, they're like, it doesn't match the forest. It matches like a beach. Yeah, now they're wrong. See. They're up. It's upbeat. It's fun. It is. That's what, that's what I want from a, from a good video game is that music. Starcast missing Spewer's head there. So, fun fact about Super Mario Odyssey, when you take damage and grab a moon, it actually wastes time. Not only the time from taking the damage, but replenishing that health bar after grabbing a moon takes additional time. Uh, I actually learned that from Tiffany, who when he started running Super Mario 64, thought the same thing applied to Super Mario 64. King Carmen gonna be moving into the garden here. What is this enemy? I mean, it's uh, it's trying it's, to suck up all the flowers and everything, like that, but what is it? I mean, it's like alien-esque. <laughs> Are you gonna look up what Torn Drift is? Oh, I thought that's what you were looking up there. Yeah, Torn Drift is the name of the enemy, right? And I mean, it's like part mechanical, part alien. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Starcast, that was the backflip, like insta backflip was really nice. Starcast having to go back because of missing nut flip. Uh, needed to grab that. Gonna be taking a slightly alternate route to get up here. Control drift. Now I'm sorry, I, I did say route instead of route, I do apologize. Like, what is it? It's like a spaceship slash alien slash robot thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it has eyes, kind of. Yeah, because the eyes are always facing you. But it sucks up flowers. See, I always find hitting that first turn up kind of messes up with how torture rotates. Um, I'm coming just slightly off of that second one. Starcast is going to be joining King Carmen here. The King Carmen slight lead still, but we're 23 minutes in. And it, I expected the lead to be greater. Um, so Starcast really doing a great job at keeping up with this. Uh, or, or keeping up with King Carmen. I'm not seeing as big of a gap. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's minor mistakes that Starcast is making here. Um, you know, taking damage like we were saying there. Uh, he's mi he missed a couple of shots, and one of those, one of those bomb balls that were coming out kind of blocked one of his shots. So it's just minor mistakes here and there. It, it could be a lot tighter, definitely. And with you know how with the difference in PBs, you'd expect it to be a lot greater at this point. Right, exactly. Just just with the amount that's left. Especially you're you're, you're looking at about a quarter of the way through the game. Right. Right, and so. They've got a 10 minute difference in PB, so you'd expect maybe closer to four or five minutes at this point. Right. Yeah. Especially with the strat difference. Yeah, for those commenting on uh, kind of the mismatch in PBs, again, that's that's how brackets typically work um, in almost every major sport. Your, your first seed is gonna go against your 16th, Second is going to go into fifteenth, and so on and so forth. All right, so Starcast, Titan Torque Drip here, just as King Carmen is moving on. Uh, so I'm trying to pull old splits to kind of see where Starcast is right now. Um, it looks like the PB split for Wooded for Starcast looks like maybe a twenty six twelve. So Starcast playing really, really well. Mm -hmm. And he's working this fight really well as well. He had no mistakes so far. In that, 
no mistakes in that fight at all. Very, very clean fight. King Carmen. Headed to see Bowser for the first time. I love the manipulation of Bowser in this. It's very specific. And uh, I believe it's Tom. She has a, a good tutorial video which shows a side by side comparison of the uh, the amount of time that you save. And it's like this cloud. I mean, it, it's very linear. You got to fight Bowser. There's no way around it. There's no skips or clips or anything that you can do to uh, get it figured out. You know. So um, shout out to Tom. She. All right, Starcast is. Finally leaving Woody here. As Carmen is leaving Clouded. Yeah, so Cloud Kingdom is just, I don't know, it, it's not as bad as like Ruined. Uh, Ruined, when we get to it, it's, it's. I, I wish we could just skip that dragon fight and move over. Speaking of self promotion, uh, as we're going into Lost here for King Carmen, uh, just want to remind everybody, my name's Thero, hanging out with Scotch and Tide Guy from the Gaming Dads podcast. Uh, we're both speedrunners. We enjoy speedrunning. We enjoy gaming. We enjoy being dads. So uh, we're really happy to be here. And I know that a lot of commentators like to joke about this, about being in the same booth. But fun fact, we are actually in the same booth. I can touch Thero. Yeah. He's much more handsome than I expected. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, no, we we do do a podcast together, Gaming Dads Podcast. You can find us on, on any of your podcasting sites, uh, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. We usually upload once a week. Uh, and then, of course, we've got our own Twitches and everything like that. But we are excited to be here. And this is making me want to come back to, to World Peace. Like... I don't know, you just see so much more of the game. You know what I mean? Well, and you get those boss fights. That's what I mean by the diversity in the game. You know, like, like in any percent, you don't really... How many boss fights do you have in any percent? Not really many. No, I It's, mean, like, very few. It's, like, maybe three or four. Yeah. Because you skip most of them. And, but in World Peace, going for that achievement... I don't know, you see... It's a requirement. It is. And, and granted, you're having to do the harder clips... Um, you know, IP clip for more beginner, um, IP clip skip for more advanced, you've got snow clip. Um, so, it is a little bit more technical, I think, but it, it's, I, I'm really happy to see uh, World Peace back on GSA again. Uh, and, fun fact, the only way that GSA can make stuff like this happen is with partners. So check out exclamation point UAP, which is the Urban Arts Partnership. Uh, they do a great job with scholarships, helping people get to school. So make sure to support uh, if you like what you see. Yeah, definitely a helpful organization, helping people go to college, get those degrees, especially those who don't necessarily have the ability to fund that. Right. So, I mean, especially nowadays, you need a degree to have any job. So it's really it's really nice to see that sort of thing. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Yeah. You know, I... I at this point, feel that I could almost have a degree in speedrunning. <laughs> right? We're going to start at the Gaming Dad's University of Gaming. Ooh. There we go. Well, hey, maybe UAP will partner with us. That would be legit. Yeah, yeah. Big and legit. King Carmen! Whew. That was scary. So, <laughs> really, really nice save. Tried to get the triple off of the little AC unit there. Uh, going to be losing a little bit of time. That's. So oh, scary. and Starcast! Oh my gosh, it's just a little bit of spaghetti here. So Starcast taking that death. That's gonna hurt. Well, he and the problem is he's, gonna, he's having to climb all the way back up, and he didn't like that jump there, so he's gonna restart the triple. Well, and the key is not triggering Klepto, right? Mm -hmm. Triggering Klepto is literally the worst. So Starcast making the right call here, right? Going ahead, getting Klepto out. Oh, nice little ledge grab there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this mood spawned. King Carmen heading up like a pro in City Hall. A speedrun mentality degree. There we go. Commentator degree? That's fair. Yeah. The mentality, look, if that's a degree that's being offered, I need it. <laughs> right? Because I'll get on saying, all right, we're gonna do a no reset this. 
and I always reset. <laughs> always. How to not reset. Oh my god. Now, this is this is where StarCast is going to, you know, have to kind of, we talk about resetting your brain and having that speedrunner mentality. This is where you're going to have to kind of get, this is, a, this is why those breaks are nice. It's because you're able to take a second, take a breather, didn't have a great Lost Kingdom there, took a death, had to make, adjust your movements, that sort of thing. And as you're moving into city, you know, obviously King Harmon is now well ahead. Um, again, just resetting your brain. And that's go hard. back. To, it's it's and it's so hard. And, but I mean, you reset your brain. You know, go back to those consistent strats. King Carmen having a little bit of trouble getting those shots off, but able to get it there. Well, and, and that's the thing. Like I don't know. I'm sure you've been in races before, where it's almost like you have like a flashback to like 30 minutes before where you missed a certain strat, and it drives me nuts. Mm -hmm. You know. I'll be going into ruin and realize, oh well, I missed Dino Skip once in uh, in Cascade Crap. It just pops back in. So, you know, Starcast hanging out in there, doing a great job, I think. I mean, and still the for a PB gap of ten minutes, you expect the gap to be wider than what it is now, right? So we're looking at three, maybe four minute gap right now. Um, it, it, so, okay. Yeah, I mean, through that section right there, Starcast's going to be saving a little bit of time just from being able to get the triple jump off of the, the little air conditioning unit there. A little bit of the bump, so that wasn't helpful. But, again, it's just get back to being consistent. Let Karn make the mistake. And this was, oh, okay. So, uh, and this is one of my most favorite and hated portions, which is the climb. You know, because this this triple jump seems like it's like super straightforward and easy, but then I get my angle off just a little bit. You know, get the height you need. King Carmen scooter clip, easy. Going to talk to. <laughs> he almost forgot to talk to Pauline's. Like, look, chick, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm just going to talk to this drummer. Not quite close enough. See, and I don't know if King Carmen is watching his opponent. Right? It, if he is. He knows he's got a lead. For me, that messes me up. Like, knowing I have a lead, it's almost like I get nervous. Well, you could do one of two things, right? You could either say, okay, I've got the lead, I've got to maintain the lead, so I'm going to continue to go for these harder strats or, you know, whatever, or what, what, maybe even what I'm more comfortable with. Right. Uh, even if it's harder. Um, or I could go with something a little bit more consistent, something that's a little bit more simple. That doesn't, you know, have have a huge isn't a huge risk, right? You know, I think I think that he goes with the that second option if, if you're smart about it. You know, it, and you know what? If he's more consistent with those harder strats, then go for it. But I mean, you just gotta go for something that's gonna, you know, maintain your maintain that lead and not put too much pressure on yourself. See, and that's the thing. So, uh, it looks like King Carmen tried to buffer that uh, spin throw there, but came out kind of wonky. Starcast missing a few. Is he gonna get the three cycle? Oh! Oh, just barely missed it. Barely missed it. And That's... he's taking a bunch of damage here. All right, so this this is super scary. Yeah, uh, Starcast has got to be careful here because he could get booted out. I mean, I'd almost take the loss at this point and be shooting those gloves for that heart. Because one hit and you're done. There we go. There we go. You got it. Yeah, that that's super scary to be in in that situation. All right, King Carmen, I'm going to talk to the trumpet guy. What is what is a trumpet? Is that a trumpeteer? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Trumpeteer. 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 Chad, which one is it? Trumpet <laughs> yeah. Trumpeteer. A guy who plays a trumpet. A guy who plays the trumpet. Because you have drummer. Yep. And bassist. Yep. Right? And then guitarist. Trumpist? No. Trumpist. No, I think... That's way too... That's cl too close to MAGA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that, that's more political than we're going to get here. <laughs> but King Carmen, go ahead and turn his power on now. 
I, don't know, I I always liked the sewer area. I thought it was kind of cool. Oh, it's, okay. So chat chiming in is the trumpeteer. Gotcha. I don't know. I do, I kind of like trumpeteer. Is, is that? Uh, it's more like a past tense. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. All right, Starcast. In day Metro. King Carmen's uh, scooter clip is pretty solid. Oh. Starcast is not. A oh! Star there we okay. go. Okay. He's not confident in the scooter clip. I don't blame him. So, I mean, and scooter clip is what? Where is he going? <laughs> Hello? He he got a little bit ahead of himself there. Um, but yeah, you know, scooter clip is kind of weird. Like, I learned it by turning my controller upside down. Yep. That's the only way I could get it consistently. Trumpeteer is also spelled as cat jam. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. I can see that. King Carmen getting that power turned on. Starcast needs to make up some room. Now, if we're going to see a change, it's going to be in, in some of those big boy straps. Mm hmm. Right? Um, any of the other clips, so Snow Clip coming up, any of those others. Uh, coming upon my favorite part of the game. I love the festival so much. It's got that fun music. You're in that 2D section. Yeah. It's especially, especially if you're a dad. It's a good throwback. It is. But then it became a meme on TikTok, and I got tired of hearing it. Oh yeah. Uh, all the cat jams in the chat. Poor King Carmen in the festival. You know. It, so interesting, uh, you know, just watching the routing between the multiple types of uh, runs that are done through this game. I think World Peace is the most unique. You know, Darker Side is a lot of fun. It's just long. It is long. But I mean, it's not as long as, you know, All Moons. King Carmen's taking a hit there. I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I died right there where King Carmen just took that hit multiple times. And I have no shame in it. Mm -hmm. No shame. Alright, King Carmen. Wrapping it up here, grabbing that moon, and getting the heck out of Metro. Starcast. Gonna need to make up some time here, gonna talk to that. Trumpeteer. Yep. Let me say in chat, Trumpeteer is just a trumpet playing a human. It's fair, I guess. Okay. Trumpeteer. I guess so. And yeah, heading right on out. Now, this is where my nerves would start to get to me, honestly. You know, because. <laughs> Starcast. Not he didn't make it big enough. He oh my god. So he did he didn't open up the uh, the top of the sewer quite enough and they ground pounded it. And in this little section here is so awkward um, trying to get spin cancels around. Starcast trying to catch up as much as possible, but I think King Carmen is on a roll at this point. Well, he's got that solid lead. Um, it, it's going to come down to him making late mistakes. There's plenty of mistakes that you can make late in the game. Um, again, you're going for world peace. So we're going to be seeing a lot of those boss fights. You know, um, and there's plenty of areas, you know, that he could he make those mistakes. So you just got to watch that. Nice little punk there. King Karma going to have to make that up here. I'm having trouble getting in there. Yes, if they want to. It's completely up to them. So, we were kind of talking about that a little bit earlier. Some runners enjoy watching their opponent. Some runners, like, blank out the world. Alrighty. Snow Kingdom now. I love snow. It's like, probably the most fun. But I don't, the only thing is the music. And I think it's because I've practiced it so much. And Carmen able to clip in. What? 
Okay. okay. Uh, it worked. It definitely worked. See, some some people like to hide everything. Some people prefer to actually watch their opponent. Like they they just play better. Um, again, I'm I'm definitely a blackout player. Like I, you know, I can have people in VC, but that's about it. Now we've got the bouncing boy. Yeah, this is a lot of fun to do. All right, chat. Are we gonna take guesses? Guesses. That's the time for King Carmen. All right, we got a 53-22 coming in from Nurse Alice and Rose. Have you seen the IL times for these races? No. It's ridiculous. I bet it is. They do absolutely crazy stuff. Bouncing away. I love these races. Honestly, if Nintendo came up with like a mini game with just nothing but these, with the oh my gosh, I'd buy that in a second. So wait, so are you talking like a cartridge just with all of like like sell it for like fifteen bucks and make it a bunch of tracks? Oh, okay. Of I'm, this, I'm... or or add it on tomorrow Kart Nine. I would say. I would buy a game with this and like all of the secret stars from SM64. Because like, all of the little side mini things. You know they did that for Mario Party, right? Did they? Yeah, they did uh, they it was for the DS I believe. They did it's a it was a side game where it was all the all the best mini games. Oh hitting that corner there with that wall. Cheese, cheese babe. How you doing, Dad? Alrighty, Starcast finishing up Metro here. Yeah, that hurt. You know, um, those smaller mistakes. It wasn't anything like truly massive, uh, but I, I think that King Farmer is kind of getting into his groove. Well, as soon as again, if you're watching it, if you get that comfortable lead, and as long as you have that mentality of like, I'm just gonna keep grooving here. It's really hard to make a mistake once you've kind of found found a groove, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you can also kind of lull yourself into a, like a false sense of security at that point as well, where you're like, okay, I can just cruise from here on out, and then you're like, oh my god, I just made this massive mistake. I don't know what to do. But we've seen that. We've seen runners fall apart at the end of run. All right, start guys heading into snow. As King Garmin is... Hitting the bunny. Uh, so, are all of these bunnies myths? No. I mean, maybe. They myths? Babies? I don't understand. Uh, where did the bunny even come from? Like, where did the idea come from? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Just a weird bunny in the bottom of a castle? I guess so. One that looks like uh, he has partaken in too many party favors. What's it? What's it? What's it? Uh, MIP stand for? It was something to do with the programming of yeah Nintendo. Right. Like it was like I don't even remember. Maybe someone in chat can re-educate us. Starcast gonna go ahead and attempt this moon clip here. Oh. That's a get. What? Not quite. Ooh, Carmen. Taking a fall. Gonna look. Carmen's got time, right? Starcast coming in. Carmen working on that. I think it's just. Oh, oh, he just got barely it. got it. Nice. Got it. Microprocessor without interlock pipeline stages. Thank you. I'm going to pretend that I know what that means. Saren, are you promising that you did not just Google that? Guaranteed Google. Yeah, Starcast able to make it up with that box clip there. Gotta go for Bound Bowl now. So let's go ahead and start getting our guesses in for Starcast Bound Bowl here. Starcast way more efficient at getting that down to that start to Bound Bowl. 
Serum U is a Mario Encyclopedia. That does not surprise me. 53 57. Is our first guess. 54 32, 55 85. I'm gonna have to, to pull up the side chat here to make sure I keep track. King Carmen. This is my favorite team. I love Seaside. You like Seaside? Oh, I, I don't. It's too much water for me. Really? I don't like water at all. That's because it's slow, huh? Uh, I, and like, like my least favorite level in SM64 is uh, JRB. Jolly Roger Bay. Oh, of course. It's just nothing but water. Well, well, yeah, exactly. Like, what well, Dry World is okay because you can get around it a little bit, but um, like Triple D, that one's okay. And yeah, DDD is all water too. Yeah. And that's where I crashed in a race and lost. There you go. Just, you know, CC side is pretty. Sarah Mew agrees. Uh, Fifty-two eighty-two. Better times. Yeah, because I think uh, Team Carmen had like a 53, like a, a, uh, a high 53, low 54. Now this boss fight is my least favorite in all of Smoke. Really? Yeah. The How you battle the octopus whatever thing is just awful. I mean, I don't know. You get to roll around in a gushing, which are like my one of my favorite characters. Right. I don't know. I like the gushings. Yeah, the water levels aren't too bad in this game yet, because you can swim as a cheap chief, or you can just zoom across the top as a gushing. Or you can melt like a Goomba. Goomba was saying oh. that he deleted his 100% save file by accident. Oh, rip. That's yeah. not fun. Hey, quick D Rust. 100% uh, D Rust. There you go. Time for a Hundo run. <laughs> Everyone go check out Goomba on Twitch later today as he does his 100%. <laughs> right. It's going to happen. <laughs> Dark ass doing some fishing. It's just RNG at this point. Like the fishing is just so awkward for me. Like I thought Lakitu's were supposed to like fly up high and do craziness, but these Lakitu's are just kind of chilling fishing. They're retired Lakitu's. Oh. That's what they are. Oh, okay. So, so they're just spending their best slack of two life. Exactly. Carcass going for Snowdram here. See if he gets the first try. Good vectors. Yeah, he had plenty of room there. We'll save a little bit of time there. Team Carmen. Trying to wrap up Seaside. I love how they're able to get in front of the boss, let him do his thing, and just wait for him. See, this is what I need to do. I need to just learn the speedrun strat. That way I can that's just get the, the fight, boss fight over with. But again, that's the answer to everything. Okay. Go. Speed, Don't speedrun life? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> just, just learn the speed strat. And a lot of times it's easier. Depends. I don't know. I think bombs are easier. I don't think it. What? Okay. That no, was kind of weird. Like I know he goes through that area, but. All right, King Carmen getting launched up to the top. Gonna be grabbing small to move. Starcast just entering into Seaside now. Got to make up a little bit of time. So much rolling, like. <laughs> I know I'm not the only SMO player that whenever they're rolling, they're like... You get their forearm strength up really easily. Because I know that's what some other runners were concerned about was, you know, the amount of shaking. But I figured out really quick, you don't have to shake that hard. Like, it's not like a shake weight. Listen, you just drink a lot of milk. 
<laughs> so you can get calcium. That way you don't destroy your your wrists or your elbows. But yeah, you're, what, what do you think? It's seven minute difference between these two, considering Scar Starcast is just kind of starting off. Yeah, I mean, as Carmen's leaving. Yeah, I think so. And again, they, they haven't been like massive, but they follow things. You know, we saw Starcast get Snowdram first try. I drink a ton of milk, and this game hurts my bones. Myth busted. What? That, I mean, that just means you need to strengthen upper arm. Do some curls. Do some of those those wrist curls, yeah. Yeah, yeah King Harmon heading on out now. Starcast. Make his way around. Did he lose a gosh? I think so. And it's tough too because whenever you have the gushins, you're going around and getting the moons. You have to have the gushin away from you when you grab uh, the, the scoring moons. And the reason why is if, if the gushin is in frame or close to the frame, when the scoring moon's done, it'll despawn. So you kind of keep it a little bit further away, um, but then you risk not getting to it as well. Luncheon Kingdom, I. I don't know. You either love luncheon or hate it. I think it's interesting. It is. I'll be. I'll. I like. I ride the fence when it comes to luncheon. I don't know. I... Pepto Bismol everywhere. <laughs> Weird. Just giant fruits. Like who is eating these massive fruits? Uh, I mean, we got the giant bird. Yeah. So I mean, you've got a cockatiel, but all of that fruit can't be for just cockatiel. Well, I mean, he's he's pretty greedy. Yeah, that's fair, but so he does make some excellent stew. I just like how when you capture the giant piece of meat, there's a mustache on it. Is there? I don't. There is look. a little mustache on it. Out of all my times running this game, I don't think I've ever noticed that. Yes, there's a little that's a thing. Yeah, my wife and I think it's the funniest thing. We all like whenever we play this game, we get through lunch and we always. Run. A meat mustache. Like a little, there's a little, it's a very, very tiny mustache on the face of the, of the, of what is it? Is it a brisket? It's like, it's, is it, what do you call that? Yeah. You don't call it a brisket, but you call it, when you buy it at the store, it's a, uh, like a roast. A roast, there you go. Yeah. It's like a roast. I don't think I've ever noticed that mustache, so I'm gonna have to look out yeah, for it now. Look out for it. Very nice cap on the pan bro here. You know, I had someone come into my stream super upset that they're called pan bros and they throw pans. Which I thought it was like a really weird thing to be upset about. Why would you be upset about that? No, they throw fire. They're called no, fire bros. He's throwing a pan. Alrighty, Starcast. Trying to catch up here. Gotta meet this boss. Or the Potobos. Like... Where did the word Potobo come from? Well, I mean, where did the word Tanuki come from? I mean, it, it came from somewhere. I don't know. It's gotta be, like, a, a loose translation in Japanese. Miyamoto, man. Miyamoto, man. Yeah, I know. Reggie. Oh, no! King Carmen! Oh, no, 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 no. Can he save it? Oh, oh what God. a save! Wow. Nice. Very nice. Going up to the mustache move. Okay, hold on. Look at, watch, watch, watch. Tall, 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 tall. Oh, see yeah, the little mustache on the front. It. Weird. No eyes, no nose. Just no the mustache. Just the mustache. That's forever gonna be the mustache in the brain. Forever. It's like a raccoon dog or something. Tanuki. Tanuki? I mean, it's got to translate into something. The octopus looks like it should have been on one piece. <laughs> yeah, I mean... That's a good one. When I was a kid, I just called it, like, the raccoon. Right? What did you call it? Raccoon? Yeah, it was like, oh... Yeah, it's, the, it's the raccoon tail. Yeah. It's the raccoon tail power up. But then it was a leaf, though. I, I didn't quite listen. I was ten years old. I didn't question it. 
The leaf turns into a raccoon. That makes sense. I mean, you put it's a, it's a dried up leaf. You put you put your dead leaves into a trash can. Oh, that's a stretch. Raccoons are trash pandas. Stop it. That's my favorite nickname for raccoons. Trash, trash pandas. pandas. Makes sense. They're kind of gross. Oh my gosh. The fact that King Carmen can come so close to that type of bit and not touch it. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. It kind of turns me out. Um, I don't like that you can't see them coming down initially. Yeah. Okay. How did he grab that? That was like ricochet off the wall. Yeah. The Japanese raccoon dog, also known as Tanuki, is a subspecies of the eight plus. Someone's going zoological on us. This is speed running. <laughs> I mean, but these are the questions that, that the people are asking. Are they actually asking it? Yes. Okay. I didn't know it was a raccoon dog. A rog. I did ask. All right. We're coming up close to the hour mark now. Just 13 minutes short of King Carmen's TV. No. Here's the thing, and King Carmen has not really given a whole lot of room. Minor mistakes. Yeah. Like, like for instance, the snow dram. Yeah, I mean, he yeah, has the time loss, but it's just more back up top to try again. Was it 15, 20 seconds loss? Like, if that. Yeah. You know, because, it, again, it's just a quick... So you have to wait till you get the ground to, uh, to start that teleport back up top. But this fight is always going to The stream always messed me up, and I always had problems with depth, depth, depth perception. Depth. Both, both. Funny with my midwestern accent coming out. Awful. Yeah, I always kind of miss time it or not have quite enough speed for his head. Right. The last one's weird because you, since it's all sectioned off like this, a little bit tougher. Well, that's what I mean. My depth. Depth perception. I can't I can't see it. Like a, King Carmen has a little bit of trouble there. And you see King Carmen. What? Okay, did you get? Yep. Okay, there you go. <laughs> kind of turning the camera to the left a little bit to try to see like a side angle of that. Right. Um, no, no worries, King Carmen. So now we have verified. King Carmen is watching. Okay. And we do know that he's uh, streaming via Nokia oh, okay. cell phone because his internet is so garbage. That's fair. <laughs> Taco Bell Wi-Fi. Well, I'm cool with that. Oh, Starcast. The oh. hand's just not wanting to cooperate. No. Not at all. And then a spiny coming for him like, hey, bro. He just wanted to, he oh. just wanted to party. Just wanted to hang out. Kind of a weird angle, having to do uh, uh, a spin cancel, spin time cancel, roll cancel, or spups, as it used to be called, to change direction. King Carmen finishing up this stinking Pepto Bismol luncheon. Didn't do it. King Carmen is using his personal hotspot. <laughs> He's at the airport. He's just using uh, airport Wi Fi. Oh, that's fair. Alrighty, Starcast. Gonna be going, all, going up to the mushroom meat. Maybe maybe Starcast will give us a better view of the mustache meat, not mushroom meat. Like I said, mushroom meat. What? I don't know. <laughs> I, I meant to say mustache meat, but I said mushroom meat. There you go. Oh, English is hard. I say both. Both. Yeah. Let's see here. Of a nice view. There you okay. go. See, there it nice is. little, yeah. nice little. It looks like a smile initially, but then you realize, oh wait, hold on, it's a mustache. All right, Starcast. I'm gonna make Cookie feel really angry. King Carmen is running at two frames per second right now. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Come up on my least. Favorite kingdom, the kingdom I wish we could erase from our memory. This is a fun fight. No, and it's fun to speedrun too because it's a really simple, it's a really easy speedrun strat. Yeah, but it doesn't. 
for me, I don't know, it's, it doesn't fit Mario. I, it fits Skyrim. I see what you're saying there. It doesn't, yeah. like, it doesn't fit what I think of Mario. You know, if, and if you're gonna make an epic dragon fight, it should be a little bit different. Fair. You know, and, and I know that people are constantly working to try to find, you know, ways to speed that up or ways to make it faster. Termu, of course, she's following the script. That's fine. I don't know. I, like, people that watch my stream, of course, they, they've never seen me play through the games where they can read the cutscenes, but, like, I don't understand. It's just a dragon. Like, well, no, Bowser's controlling the dragon. That's why we're killing the thing on the dragon's head. You know what I realized? After you fight the dragon, it just is a sleep. So, really, you're putting the dragon into a coma. Yeah, but it's like, how does the dragon balance itself by its yeah. This is Gaming Dad's war now. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, Alrighty. Finishing up Ruined here. Monster Hunter vibes. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. This was just a prelim to them releasing Mon Monster Hunter. Was it Rise? Yeah. yeah. Monster Hunter Rise. For the Switch. Reggie. In his great wisdom, decided to put the dragon in to help, uh, you know, advertise for Monster Hunter. I don't know. It just it doesn't fit to me. Like everything else is like super cartoony, and people people get mad about Metro being the same thing. Like, how did he just bonk on that? Did you see that? Well, that's one. That so that's been his issue is that he's made those minor, like really kind of odd mistakes. You know, bonking that here, scary. that sort of thing. Small things that could make the this a lot closer. Yeah, I was surprised because with you know the IP clip skip, um, Starcast was able to catch up fairly quickly. Yeah. And so Starcast still got a little bit more here in luncheon. King Carmen now officially won the full kingdom ahead. Now, you know, Ruin's only three minutes or so, so it's not too, too bad. Um, let's, we're, we're getting towards the end here. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> wow, wow. Just completely missed the, the cap jump. I don't even know if that was, like, a valley, or he just, like, missed through his cap. That was weird. No, that wasn't. It was just complete. Yeah, it was just a complete mess. Alrighty. I don't know. So, and then Bowser's Kingdom is kind of weird to me too, just because of how hyper realistic some of it is. Well, no, not just that. So, like, it's um, you know, reminiscence of Imperial Japan, right? So, right. I don't remember any other Mario games where it's like, like, it's always like a castle with, like, lava and you know, that kind of stuff. But I don't ever remember another, like, Imperial Japan. Imperial Japan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah All-Star Mode... You know, has been uh, a thing over the past few years. I just, I love my Switch too much. Oh no, Starcast missing the hit there on Koopa Teal. Yeah, we have time. Yeah, we got He's fine. Yeah, and, and you know, chat's thinking about some of the mods for this game. There, there are quite a few. Um, and these guys do a lot of work on these mods. A lot of work on these mods. Right. Nope. King Carmen just like going to the left of that move for some reason.
StarCast. Finally going to be catching up here. And this is kind of where we saw the gap. Right? And for me, I know that that's one of my problems. For my late game is always worse than my early game. And it's not... I mean, I think it has a little bit to do with the, the difficulty of the game. But it also... I mean, if you reset a lot, you're not going to do the later game stuff. Ever. Right. That's, that's where that kind of speedrunner mentality that we were talking about earlier comes into play, where you got got to got to put your head down and just get through it so that you can number one practice the whole thing and see the whole thing in the especially if you're going to be in race scenarios but also it brings up the consistency you know if you don't play late game right you're not going to be consistent in late game and that's where it's tough like super mario odyssey there's no like super effective way to to practice i know most people will just create multiple profiles for each kingdom uh but you know, like Super Mario 64, you've got Usamune, uh, the, the ROM hack, to be able to practice. But and I know that, that these modders, I really like how King Kong take it off areas. But what? Wait, what? How did he get the bomb like that? Yes. What? Yes, I love it. What was that? I keep coming for the last one. Oh my gosh! King Carver's showing off those pro strats. What a legend! See, and you know, Starcast. Again, in the, in the part of the game that I wish we could just maybe we should have a bounty out here for how to skip ruin. Some type of sequence skip. They're gonna break the code like in uh, Zelda. Oh god, no. Turn up three <laughs> times, two cap throws, a ground pound. Rubber band your stick this way. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I mean, you're talking about two games that are, you know, 21 years apart. So that makes sense. Yeah. Well, and you know, it's, it's funny, I've talked to you about this before, is just how much the community is able to do in such a, such a short, short period of time. Right. You know? Um, I mean, this game's only been out, what, six years, five years? Right. And the it's incredible that, amount of work that, you know, the, the modding community, the speedrunning community, the hacking community has done just to develop and give you a full realization of what you can do in this game. Right. And that's where, uh, you know, I, I just saw it in chat, um, putting on Onyx. You should use exclamation point UAP to check out Urban Arts Partnership. Uh, the newest sponsor here at the Global Speedrun Association, aka GSA. Check them out. Exclamation point UAP. Helping people go to college. Yeah. Helping people get those degrees, especially in a time and place where getting a degree is, you know, such a big thing for people. It is. The StarCast really needs King Carmen to take a fall here to make up some of that time. But I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, he's been playing really consistently. Uh, we were talking about this earlier, you know, just putting your head down, knowing you're in the lead. We know he's watching, so he, he, he knows he's in the lead. I mean, the next is it's something that the runners typically practice because it is such a large time loss to fall. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, that, that's kind of the make or break. Alrighty. One more kingdom stands in King Carmen's way. Starcast getting started out here in Bowser's. Needs to make up a little bit of time. Looking at the end here, though. And you're talking about mm, what eight, nine minutes now difference? Yeah, it's fairly significant. Um, but still, mistakes can happen. Yep. Uh, speaking about mods in the community, I, you know, I, I'm kind of up in the air about this particular game and mods. 
uh, especially you know seeing how much Nintendo or how far they're willing to go to take those down. Um, it does have more opportunity on the end user side, but Nintendo is like a, a hawk for some reason. They will find you. Yes. They will find you. They have a special set of skills. <laughs> Nintendo can legally break your Switch. There you go. Yeah, they can't, but they can stop the people from developing them. Uh, we saw that a lot here recently with um, some of the monitors pretty much all their information being taken off of YouTube and all those social media platforms it stinks. Reggie will appear in your bedroom right. and come steal you in the night. Or Doug Bowser. Doug Bowser. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. A uh, little bit of a hiccup there. All right, Moon Kingdom. Honestly, I a lot of people complain about Moon because it is a little bit slower. I like it. Like I don't mind it at all. It's where I learned how to to vector properly. Well, it gives you the opportunity to practice that. <laughs> Love the uh, the Moon Cave skip there. Pro strats. Pro strats. Pro strats. We're not going slow, we're going fast. This is speed running. Now here's the question. Maybe this is a little bit of a lore thing. But how is it that Bowser is able to get her all the way to the moon to get her to marry her? And it's like she she's at the wedding and everything like that, but she's still like saying no, I don't want to get married to you. Well, if it's in at the end. Oh, don't get me started on the end. I mean... Bowser Mario fighting, and she's like, Look, you know what? I'm just gonna take your ship. <laughs> you guys can stay on the moon that's half destroyed. Bye. Alrighty. Starcast having a little bit of difficulty with that fight there. Let's move on. Both are me for top or burst. Yeah. Wasn't that like a meta for a while? Yeah. Topper first versus... Carry it first. Mario legit goes all the way to the moon to save Peach, and she ditches in there. I mean, that's fair. I mean, how many times has Peach been saved now? It's, uh, it's, what, what is it? It's that Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you think Mario would eventually be like, all right. I'm dying. I'm done. I'm going to retire as a carpenter. Plumber? He so switches fun, to carpentry? So, yeah, you didn't know that. So, fun fact, they dropped the plumber out of the meta. What? You can't do that. Yeah, I'm telling you. You I, can't it, do it's that. It's not canon anymore. I don't believe that anymore. Yeah, see? I'm, I have Reggie on speed dial. I'll fix that. Fix it. The King of Carpman through this last area here. About to walk past his PB. As he finishes up, but he will claim a comfortable win. So, as a clarification, Mario's occupation is plumbing. But in the original Donkey Kong games, he's actually a carpenter, and he's been a doctor, an archaeologist. Well, now we're getting into all the games, you know, Doctor Mario, whatever. Well, oh, 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 oh Starcast, it's terrifying. It's still a 114 in a race, which is solid. And Starcast, look, shout out to Starcast. Um, it's, it's definitely not easy to go up against someone who, you know, has a PB that's 10 minutes faster. Um, I think that if, if some of those small mistakes could have been mitigated, it would have been much closer, but like, definitely shout out to Starcast. 
Mm-hmm. And listen, for his PvP, you know, his PB, he's been playing pretty well. Yeah, He has been playing well for his skill level, so, you know, that's nothing, that's nothing to be upset about at all. Yeah, I definitely agree. Let's see here, what does Team Karma do? It's gonna be 114. Okay, 114, 42, 43. Yeah, 43. Alrighty, so 114, 43 from Team Carmen. GG's. A uh, really good race. I mean, and, and here's the thing: still getting a 114 in what he failed Snowdram. Mm -hmm. He made some some pretty big mistakes along the way. Took a death in a uh, uh, luncheon. Yeah. Yep. Um. So, really solid, King Carmen bad one. <laughs> I mean, really solid. I think. I mean, when you're talking about these longer runs, you know, a minute, ten seconds off of your PB, yeah. that's not that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I agree. I, I, if, yeah, I'd say you know, if you're what what is that? Less than one percent off your run, off your PB. Yeah. And, a little over 1% off your PB? Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting into the minutia of it now. The minutia. Wait. Stop using those big words. I got a big one. Oh! oh! Speaking of what? Minutia, wow. What was that? Holy oh my god. <laughs> Dark ass, you know, even though, he's, even though he lost the race, just still showed off some of that technical skill. The mech was like, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> You good? That was awesome. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Wow. All right, Starcast gonna be sitting through this cutscene. I feel like between I don't know which one's longer between this one or Forest or uh, the wooded. Yeah, uh, the wooded cutscene. Like those multiple cutscenes are like super long. Yeah, because I'll do really good right on mech, and I'm like, all right, yeah. This is a goal, this is a goal, and I'm like 10 seconds behind. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm telling you, they need, they need, a they need to uh, yeah. turn a speed run mode on. Or you can just skip those multi -moves. Exactly. Okay. I at least give the option. Sub hour and any percent would be like free. Yeah, it would be. I mean, you'd be talking about like what, a 40, you could you'd get a 45? There's Eighty so percent. We we need to we need to math this out. Yeah, we need a we need like a, a, a any percent big boy to tell us what the exact time it is for those cutscenes. Stay speedrunner's hands. No cutscenes yet. Yeah. <laughs> now you just have to get those grip machine or those grip things. Yeah, they're you know, like springy. Strengthen those hands. Listen, while you're not speedrunning, you're doing just grip strength yep. constantly. That's what you do. Doing that thumb movements. This is true. All right, into Moon Kingdom now for Starcast. Is five minutes feasible from this point? Yes, if he does really well. So he could potentially PB here. Yes. There's no saddling staring you. <laughs> Sarah's trying to create a new meta. That's fine. Got some great rollouts yeah. here. You can a nuts moon as Saren just stated. I mean he's right on the cusp. Yeah. Let's see how he does here. Normal setup for this cave skip. I never realized how simple that was until I know I, I was texting you. <laughs> I received all the text. I can't get it anymore. I'm trying to walk you through the text. And no, you know who figured it out for me was my wife. 
I, That's how it always works. She, she was like, you're facing the, the, the wall too much. I'm like, you're supposed to face the wall. And she's like, just try to skirt by it. That ended up being the thing that fixed it for me. See? Backwards jump. Team Carmen showing off here. Well, these Bowser fights are weird. Like, I... I will say this about Nintendo. At least they come out with a unique way to fight Bowser every time. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, the only one that I truly despise is 3D World. Super Mario Sunshine. Oh yeah. Mm, it's it's not great. Have, I, I think it's I find it tedious. Have you bought Bowser in 3D World? I haven't. No. It's he's driving a car and he's kicking. Explosive soccer balls at you that you have to kick back at him. Uh, you know what's another one that I find annoying? And this isn't a, uh, technically it's not Bowser, but Luigi's Mansion. Oh, uh, yeah. That boss fight took me forever to figure out number one, and it was just bad. 3D World, you don't fight Bowser. I mean, you kind of don't. He's just driving a car. And then, I don't know, he comes back. Weird. And then, it's got the most anticlimactic ending. Alrighty, start that. In his last punch here. Okay, he's got three minutes here. This is doable. You gotta have a great uh, escape here. Yeah. But it's doable. I mean, it's gonna be super close. It's gonna be close, but it's doable. Listen, like, I, this is this is crazy because you're talking, you know, again, this is where the skill comes into, into playing these races because, you know, Starcast, I mean, he's playing close to his PB. Right. And, you know, it, it, you know, it just comes down to, you know, it's tough because it's like, how much can you do? Right. But now, it, this can get exciting here in the last couple of minutes. If Starcast can pull it off, pull off a PB. Good. Good. Nice little skip there. Oh. Uh, okay, he's wasting with maybe a second or two there. And it really safe. Yep. And I don't like it. Like this game's just weird. And so it's all gonna come down to his pillars. This is very doable. He's got a minute, 20 seconds. I mean, uh, what, 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 those are on target. Four, five, those five. are really good. Yeah, one was right. That was really good. Really good start. Oh, missed the jump there. Just, just time, just a little bit of time, no big deal. How fast can you get this on? 50 seconds? 45 seconds? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be. Oh, come on! There you go. Fire faster! Run for good luck. Wow! That's a PB. I feel like Bowser takes forever to launch off here. It, it's yeah. just gonna miss 122, but that's a really good PB there. Yeah, for sure. Wow, 123.01. GG. Wow. I mean, I, if I'm StarCast, I'm not upset with that. Yeah, of course not. I'm not. You just can't be. I mean, knowing that you're you're going against someone who has a PB that's 10 minutes faster. And I mean, you just PB. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you PB in a race against a guy who's, whose PB is 10 minutes faster than yours, and you just played the best that you've ever played. Right. So, I mean, I, it, it, you know, and then we were talking about the brackets at the beginning, right? This is the tough part of it. You know, in these earlier brackets, you know, you're going to go against people that are better than you if you're in that lower seat. But, you know, you have the potential to play like this and, you know, walk away feeling, feeling okay because you've got that a new PB under your belt exactly. in a race against a guy whose PB is 10 minutes better than you. Because, again, that, I mean, that's how these brackets work. So you... 
you know if you're the last seed that you're going against the best person there. Right. Like you just know. Well, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. See, that's why I love these races, is that you can get see exciting stuff like that. Get, yeah, I mean, even though that there's a, a larger PD gap, you still see some pretty crazy stuff, right? Oh, but yeah. So, I know that this, uh, we've got multiple other, this is our grand back uh, multiple other uh, matches going on today. I think there's two more, one coming up here in about 15 minutes or so. Uh, don't forget, GSA is now sponsored by the Urban Arts Partnership, exclamation point, UAP. Again, GG's, King Carmen, uh, for that win. And GG's to StarCast on the PB. Yeah, that, I mean, uh, both of those people, or both of those players, played their heart out today for sure. All righty, looks like we're going to be getting the folks here in the booth. King Carmen, are you there with us? Yeah, what's up? Awesome run. I know you kept saying bad run. Yeah, that was an awful run. I hated that run. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, for us on our side, you made a couple of mistakes, but um, and now, were you watching the whole time? Uh, yes, I was. Okay, so how did you feel? Did you expect it to be as close as it was uh, after Sam? Uh, no, that's what I was confused about because I got IP skip and I was surprised that he was only like 30 behind me. And I was like, okay, well, I guess his early game is just good for his level. And then after Wooded is where I kind of started coming ahead like a lot. I mean, that, that kind of shocked to us. I know um, just not expecting it at all. Um, but what was your mindset in the race? Like you knew that you had a PB that was 10 minutes faster. Um, Going into this, I mean, were you nervous, or were you just going to do the same old, same old like you always do? I was a little nervous, mainly because my internet, which you saw in the race, uh, yeah. like, with that. but besides that, in terms of actually playing, I wasn't scared at all. Like, I knew I was going to win. I just it was fun regardless, though. GG to yeah. Starcast. And what's what's kind of your mindset going forward through the rest of this tournament? Um, I mean, I don't really know, honestly. Like, I'll just keep playing like I am right now. Like, I can, I'm not scared of really anyone but Strav. Strav can beat me, but besides that, I can beat everyone else pretty easily. Now, out of curiosity, uh, what's your current sum of best? Um, 112.15. So, I mean, the fact that you're playing within 2 minutes and 30 seconds of your sum of best, even though you said it's a bad run, that's still phenomenal. Um, yeah. I'll take any 114 in the race. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, especially with, you know, uh, I know Snowdram was was an issue. Um, yeah. Uh, there was one other spot that was kind of iffy there. Um, I, I died at the beginning of Bowser's. Oh, that, that was it. Happened. You died at the beginning of Bowser's. And then also in Luncheon. Uh, oh, yeah. I fell the at the, save. after the mountain. Yeah. A lot of people don't know about that save. It's pretty easy, and I'm, I was kind of I did. We thought you were happen. dead. <laughs> like, we were both like, oh, no, it's done. Yeah. The only part I was really nervous for was IPD skip, but I'm glad I got that. Right. And, and you you were fine on that, too. Um, yeah. I know we saw you, you practicing uh, beforehand. Um, you know, it, it, and I could see why that's a nervous point, but I mean, you definitely didn't show the nerves through that. Uh, is there anybody else in the tournament that you're kind of worried about? Um, kind of Jackamus. He has like a 114. He, like, I'm not too worried about him, but he could potentially beat me if I play bad. So. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, good. Any other final words before we uh, kind of cut to a break for our next match? Um, not really. It was fun, GG. Cool. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by, uh, Carmen. And again, big GG's to StarCast on the, I'm guessing, a PB there. Uh, I know the chat was asking if he was playing on hard copy or, or um, 
or if that or was digital. digital copy, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I wasn't able to get that information, but regardless, big GGs. Again, thank you so much for watching. We've got more uh, World Peace Tournament action coming at you all day today, uh, so make sure to stay tuned. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, and have a good one. Yep, we'll see you.